Ugh. Okay, it's very late in the evening and I'm exhausted, but I need to decide which guitar case I'm going to use and I need your help. Tomorrow we're off to Dusseldorf, which is West Germany, and we're traveling from Berlin, which is East Germany, and we're gonna go on a train and I'm playing at a friend's wedding, so I just need my guitar. There's no amplification at all. Uh, it's very, very simple, which is great, but I have a few cases and I need to decide which one I'm going to use. And I thought, you know, I could just turn the camera on and we could make this decision together and I could document this a little bit and talk about kind of the benefits and drawbacks of each case. The guitar that I'm choosing to bring is my 1994 Loudon O10 acoustic guitar. And this is a jumbo size, so it's quite big. Um, it's got cedar top and mahogany back and sides. All right, so this is the first one. This is the gig bag, the everyday kind of bog standard gig bag. Um, not much padding. The only thing going for it is it's light, I guess. Um, but I don't even know why I'm suggesting this because my guitar doesn't even fit in this one. So we won't be using that. This is the next one. So this is the TKL hard case. Um, yeah, very typical kind of hard case. It's made of wood. It protects it very well. Um, it will do a really good job. Uh, standard kind of latches like this. Benefits with this one is it protects it very well because it's a hard case, um, but the drawback is it's quite on the heavy side. That is 7.8 kilos. Next one is the nylon case. This is a nylon exterior and it's padded. It, um, it's a soft case, but it's really, really well padded. Um, this is a Gator case. It's a really good case. This is my um, kind of run and gun case. It's what I use for kind of everyday use because it has so many pockets. I'll just lift it up so you can see, so you can kind of access in here. There's all kinds of pockets to put music and stuff. And uh, this top pocket here, put all my capos and stuff. Um, really, I'll show you on the inside. It's really well padded. It's really nice. Uh, you know, it's super thick and it's actually quite rigid as well. Straps at the back. And it even comes with a rain bag as well. Downside of this is, you know, it's not as protected as a hard case. I'd be quite comfortable with this on the train tomorrow, but you know, I wouldn't be, I, I don't think I would take this on a long tour with me. Um, I wouldn't be too comfortable with like bags on top of it and stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't think it could take much weight on top. You know, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. On a train, if I kept my eye on it, then yeah. I think this could be the one that I would take. And obviously, you know, it's lighter than a proper hard case. So let's see. 6.65 kilos. Next we have the fiberglass and this really is a beautiful case. For this guitar that I'm taking, the Loudon, uh, this was custom made for that guitar. Uh, it's a Calton case, originally from the UK. Um, I think they're based in the US now, but they make really high quality fiberglass cases. This thing is just indestructible. Um, I've had this for years and years. I've toured with this for years. The only downside is it's really quite heavy uh, and it's bulky. By far, it's the most protected. It will protect my guitar uh, more than any other one. The hassle of taking this and carrying it all the way, I just don't know. I'd love to take it because it's a really beautiful case, but yeah, I just don't know yet. Let's see the weight. 8.5 kilos. Finding a spot for this on a train is 
not that easy. It doesn't, definitely doesn't fit in the overhead compartments. Usually you have these these areas where you can put your luggage um, but they're just not that high and I never seem to be able to kind of fit these in uh, yeah I can't decide right now um, but I'll decide pretty soon or I'll decide in the morning and we'll see how the train journey handles one of these cases <laughs> So now we've arrived and I've decided to use the Gator padded case in the end. It was it worked really well. It was really good and I managed to fit the case above the on the overhead storage um which really helps because the only other storage there is is these big sort of rack storage where everybody puts their big cases um and I just didn't want people putting their cases on top of the guitar case and so it and it's really light it's I'm really able to walk for a while with it on um I really enjoy it I mean as I say I use this for my um everyday run and gun sort of case you know for the teaching that I do you know I have to travel across the city I use this case, uh, it's, just, it's a really good case. So I'm gonna practice now and then I'm gonna have dinner and then we're gonna get to bed because uh, I need to have an earlyish night because there's a lot to get, get ready for tomorrow for the wedding. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be exciting and interesting to see how the day turns out. All right, nighty night. Okay, so now we've arrived back in Berlin and it was a really, really nice trip. Just a few days, very short, but very nice to see our friends. Very nice to play at a wedding. It all went well. I played when I was supposed to play. I stopped when I was supposed to stop. All in all, it was just a really lovely weekend away. The case performed just as well as expected. It was light, it was durable. Uh, very easy to hop and on off a train or public transport is super nice so I'm really glad that I went for the Gator case. As usual the links down below for all of these cases. Thank you for coming along this journey with me it's been really fun to kind of get out of the studio and record a little bit outside. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think, what you think of these cases. Do you have any of these cases and what case do you use for your acoustic guitar? Um, I'll be really interested in that. Um, other than that, have a fantastic day and I will see you again in the next video very soon.